Hello and welcome to the 45th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at enumerators. The enumeration definition defines names for a selected integer of values uh, as it is possible to assign to an enumerator variable other integer values that are not in the scope of the enumerator definition. Something that we're going to have to really show you so you can understand what we're talking about. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. It's actually just uh, another way to write out integers, a way to give it, give the integers keywords, as you will, instead of just saying uh, integer 1, integer 2, integer 3, as in, I mean the number, not saying integer 1, just the number 1, 2, 3. So the way you declare a enum, you use the keyword enum, you put the type of your en enumerator, I'm just going to put type, and not the type, yeah, I mean the name of your enumerator, not the type of the name. Then you put some curly braces and then in here you where you just put your keywords. I'm gonna put hello one, separate it with commas, hello two, and hello three. That'll suffice for this tutorial. And what we're gonna do is yep, missing a semicolon. I love Xcode and stuff like Visual Studio that'll pick up on stuff like this. I dread the days where people would use just pretty on rubbish text editors and then just compile and hope for the best. Like I've seen YouTube videos where where people are doing that. Anyway, nowadays it's just ridiculous. Okay, so we're just going to print out this std and line. Now if we run this, we get the value one. It is the second number in type, but we get the value one because at computer start at zero, not one, as we've discussed in previously in this series. So it's zero. 1 and 2, but we can make him start on something else, so we could do, assign this 90, so by def, by default this will be 91, this will be 92, so it just goes up 1, if we run it we get 91, but there's nothing stopping us from actually just explicitly setting another value to this, so we could set, I don't know, 4, 5, 6, we get 4, 5, 6, and obviously if we were to print out hello 3, we get 4, 5, 7, so exactly, here you go, this is enumerated. The benefit of this is just you can give a little keyword to a integer number instead of literally just putting integer numbers out there. Obviously you can use variables but you can't change the value of these just by saying I don't know type colon colon hello free equals something else. And I'll show you what happens if you do type colon colon hello two equals three run it and we get build failed it says expression is not assignable which is great, so it's constant. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at introduction to classes. Classes are probably the most crucial part of object-oriented object -oriented programming, which C++ is an OOP language. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Oh, and I think I just said that all the required links, uh, I meant all the required links for the source code will also be in the description. But, and thank you for watching.